The year is 2020. Lockdown is here. We're all stuck in our homes. A young 21-year-old Kiri wakes up about midday. He puts his slippers on and he opens his door. He goes downstairs. He has breakfast. As he's eating breakfast, he's thinking. I wonder if she messaged me back. I wonder what's going on there. Is there any news? What's the cases of COVID saying? I was eating. I finished off my breakfast. I ran upstairs. I grabbed my phone, go into my bathroom. I shut the door. I'm alone in my bathroom. I put on my phone. I, I unlock my phone. I switch off the Wi-Fi, but I switch back the Wi-Fi on. I go on the app, I refresh, and there I see no messages. In 2020, <laughs> I was a social media addict. Just like many of us, we locked in doors. You'd always just want to check your phones, right? I want to give you a question and this will really click but I want you just to think about this okay so just try your best and let me know even pause the video the question is why do we check our phones or even above all social media I think it's about for every 10 minutes seven of them are spent on social media the average person why is seven out of the 10 minutes we all spend on our phone, why is it on social media? We are seeking connection. We want to mingle or socialize with each other. We want to feel a part of the tribe. We want to feel worthy we want to feel appreciated we want to feel loved because when back then and i didn't know it but i would constantly check my phone go in this app snapchat oh close that instagram close that twitter any messages i would always seek messages not only because of the dopamine but i wanted to connect I wanted to feel accepted. I wanted love. I would go in that bathroom, lock the door, put my phone on and go on Instagram. Just before I did, I would check on Snap. Has a girl messaged me back? Okay, no. I would go on Instagram every single day. I would go on Instagram in the bathroom scroll and I would see a big ass big titty girl and I'll scroll and I would see a big ass big titty girl scroll big ass big titty girl 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 da, da, da. you know what I did in that bathroom just there every fucking day why would I do that why do we do that come on don't lie to me you're gonna lie on this channel huh why on Instagram do you see a big ass big titty girl and why do you take your dick out and wank? Why? Why? You're not a bad person. I'm on your side. I'm omitting. Why do we do that? Because we want to feel loved by a woman. Can you see how easy it is if you think about it it's easy right in terms of the reasons why if we are being truthful with ourselves we want to have sex feel the energy feel love feel appreciated we want her to put her hands like this to us we want to feel like the man with that woman we want love. I was checking my phone 
not only because I wanted social connection and acceptance, but I also wanted love from girls. Even to this day, I use my phone three hours if I chat to my employees, maybe four hours. I will put a screenshot of my uh, average uh, screen time last week. It's about, I think it was four hours, 14 when I checked. All I do now is chat to the most, three most important people in my life and my employees. There's no girls, there's no big titty girls anymore. There's no boobies, there's none of this. There's no validation from boys and respect and acceptance. There is none of that. Why? Because I understand that feeling secure comes from within. Not external, not external, not other people. If I want to feel loved, if I want to feel worthy, if I want to self-love, care, if I want the best for myself, it comes from within. I wanted acceptance. I wanted respect. I wanted to feel like the man. I wanted love from women. That's why I checked my phone every day. And I never understood it until last year or two. Oh, that's what you truly want, Kiri. That's what we all want. We want community. We want family. We want to feel good. We want love from women. We want to be accepted. We want to be valued. We want these things. But when you go on social media, do you actually feel these things? We spoke about a bit on this channel. You actually feel envious of other people. You see that guy dating that big titty girl that you want and you feel, oh. you see that other guy with the six pack and the good shape and you feel, oh. you see Tate with his Lamborghini and Bugattis and all this and you feel, ah, oh. social media will destroy your mental health. Because all you truly want is to connect. But we don't truly as humans connect through a text message. We connect through real life or very deep mind fuck type conversations and comfortabilities like this. Like just think about how many YouTubers have you watched? Do they make you feel, do they connect to me? I'm not even a YouTuber, I'm not some idiot in my room. <laughs> do they make you feel, do they connect the same way we do? Because I'm talking to you right now. I'm not talking to, hey guys, welcome to my thing. Or, hey, I'm not with a text message like this or all of this shit hiding behind the screen. I'm here showing you my real self and hoping you can understand, respect and relate and resonate with me. We don't get connections through the phone and text messaging and hiding behind the screen. We get connections through stuff like this and actually going outside and looking someone in the eyes to say to them, I am, this is a beautiful day, I'm alive today. Everything you want from social media, the underlining feelings we all want as humans, because we're all very, very similar. Everything we want, we don't get it from social media. So why are you on it? I asked you a question. Why are you on social media? Oh, because Tate's new podcast or because uh, this has got posted. I might miss out this or this event. Oh. <laughs> Is that really worth your sanity? I'm not saying delete social media because I haven't. I'm just saying limit it. If you haven't got a business, if you haven't got anything to promote, if you're just essentially a consumer, do not fucking go on that. Yeah, check it once or twice a day. That's it. Check it once or twice and spend 30 minutes straight on it. No problem. But when it's time to work, we work. When it's time to exercise, we exercise. When it's time to be out with your family and be present, we be present. Not, oh, this is this is advert on TV. This is boring. Let me whip out my phone. None of that fucking shit. You appreciate and become present with the real people that actually care about you. 
who surround you. Not random fucking idiots just to like your photo. Oh, look at him, he's got this. Uh, it's all fake anyways, okay? I was a social media addict. You are a social media addict. I am not a social media addict anymore. You're not going to be a social media addict because it's an extremely low ROI. Addiction. Addiction means continuously doing it. The rewards of continuously going on social media is here. What do you get from it? What do you gain? Huh? Oh, memes? You think your ancestors before you wanted you to look at memes and be, huh, good. You're better than this. You're somebody. If you watch this channel, you're somebody. You've got potential. Let's work. And then, and then we can enjoy ourselves on social media. But you need to earn it. The dopamine you get, the messages you reply back, the girls, the big titties, they, they send you all this shit. Earn it. Do the hard work first. And then enjoy it. Oh, that's hoped. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below. If you also like one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions or like to learn from my Skillshare classes, all links down below. Mm -hmm.